I like Dracovish Grim still. Chansey's still good. Trevenant's a lot harder to use versus Marowak. And I think like, Arcanine's good here. Arcanine's usable versus a lot of these. I'll bring the Arcanine. Good Intimidate value. Let's see, I wonder what the Pink Kirchen's really doing here. Probably just there for the Amoongus matchup. How's it going? Just waiting to get into this game. Should be a lot of fun today. This one should be a, a fun game, I think. I want to see what the Oranguru busts out. I think Orangers are really underrated Pokemon. And especially with the, like, Indidi leaving the meta, I think that, like, Oranguru has, like, a potential to, like, really step up. Using Fury Blissey today. Uh, we're just not using Blissey at all today. Green Marina Oranguru. That's pretty much what I thought. So I should be able to outspeed. See, like, the, the question, like, what do I really want to get done here? That's the question. Because I can do a lot of things with this board. I can switch out. I can set screens. I can use Thunder Waves. I can fodder the Dracovish, and it's coming to a board where they can't do anything to the Chansey. That's kind of like what I'm looking at here. But, like, there's so many physical mons that it's kind of hard. I'll need the orange group. I think that's okay. Same play as last time, so usually pretty good against it. And we should be able to outspeed the Primarina with the Grim next turn. Maybe we'll be able to go for a sneak. Wasn't Gr wasn't Orn banned, it was not. I wish. Pokemon's so good. Yeah, I don't want them to get Trick Room up. I don't want them to be able to instruct either. So let's just go for this. A fish wasn't maxing, so that's why we didn't max it. Fish can totally go down, I don't really care about that. If you want to protect Orn and like mind blast my fish or whatever. Call it Mind Blast, freaking. Yeah, he's gonna do it. I'm getting so many good opponents today. No, this is news is still gonna go off probably. So this is gonna do good damage. It's like weakness policy, Owen Guru. Here we go. That's not good. I don't know if that KO's for me. Yeah, it does. He's Vex. Yeah, we didn't get the snooze either. It sucks. Let's go. We could start setting up the minimizes, but like, I feel like we just want to get this orange group like off the board, and I feel like we have to nuke it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I didn't know like if he was gonna be like super bulky, and we just needed to, we needed to go into it. Surprising Core Gray, I'm surprised too. I mean, even if you like, we went for the first Snarl first turn, so like that's why we doubled into it that first time. Yeah, this is alright. That Premon is totally specs, so I think we're gonna be okay here. I think we're just gonna switch out Grim after a Max Guard into Arcanine, block the Dazzling Gleam, and then probably try and set the Simimizes. I'd like to force him to Dynamax the Pre Marina over something like the Delmize, but we'll see. I guess if he has Delmize, we can, um, and he's stuck using Dazzling with Primarino, Arcanine's a really good Pokemon to bring in. Delmize, there it is. What are you gonna do with this thing? I'm totally gonna hit that, I don't give a shit. No reason to ally switch. I'm gonna go for the Minimize. And if he wants to go Max Guard that thing, and Dazzling one more time, it still won't kill the Grim. Grim's a good Pokemon. I won't kill it. But we'll see. And Snooze would do a lot. Uh, I don't think Snooze actually KO's the Delmize, but he doesn't know that. Like, he has no clue what our set is. He has absolutely no clue. Let's go 
just gonna eat it without maxing, bro. Are you, are you crazy? I'm a freaking G Max Grim Snarl chief. That thing going out of the way, I think, almost assures that I win. There could be some weird things. I've seen Mental Reborn Guru, yeah. Dazzling shouldn't kill Grim. We just set up a screen. Oh my gosh, value screen. I outspeed the premier minute too, so like I can even I can even go for like one more foul play if I wanted to. Marowak. Oh that foul play though. He's gonna max that thing. Now, let me think about this actually, because like I guess that could be a problem. I should outspeed it. I don't need any more minimizes. I'm thinking if I want to actually reflect though. Let me let me think about what I want to do here, because I still have to get that pre marina off the board eventually. I guess you just want to reflect. I'll play with you so much that Marowak. I'm actually gonna seismic toss that pre-marina and switch in my Arcanine. Yeah, I'm, I'm not messing with that Marowak right now. I don't want to foul play a max whack. I want to foul play like one that is not max. But I know I'm intimidating it too. It's not helping. Yeah, we'll see. Attack. Yeah, you're right. This is a good play for me though. Free damage on the pre-marina as well. Can actually cycle really well if I wanted to, if I wanted to overheat. I think I might. Let me think about this. Crit Lamal. Let me think about that. I wonder if overheat actually just KOs. If you max with a pre marina, I think we just win. Because foul play will like one shot. Snarl's good. I wonder who's maxing. It has to be the whack, right? He's intimidated on the whack, and like pre marina gets undersped by this Arcanine, so we still get our Snarl off. Alright, cool. Not super cool, but like I could deal with that, I think. Yeah, once pre marina is gone, um, Grim Snarl is going to be able to be much more usable. We have to like get a lot of damage on the pre marina this turn. Maybe I should have overheated. It's hard to say exactly, because like we can't kill pre marina this turn. Like we can't KO it. That's be the Marowak. He also has like potential for Parish on that Marowak, which is pretty not great. He had the Hyper Voice. Well, he so he wasn't Specs. He was just continually doing that. Ah, we were living though. We thick. We thick Arcanine today. Max Quake into the Arcanine, right? I think that's okay. That's actually a really smart play by him, though. Uh, let's see, though. I don't want to get yeah, that's perished. Right. That's right. I bet he has it. He has protect too. It's like can't thunder wave. No, he has quake. He can't have perish. I think we actually just reflect then. Or uh, yeah, we just pop a reflect and seismic toss the Primarina and we're fine. And then we just camp soft will. That's fine with me. I just want my reflect chief. Chance of PP stall, or oh, just uh, for the most part, yeah. It's just gonna be a timer stall because we have more time than he does. I wonder if this will actually kill the prim. I don't think so. Maybe I show light screen, but it's hard to say really. Have to go for a soft load this turn though. I have to, otherwise I'll just lose my chance to get the Marowak. And we just have to make sure we pick our moves fast for the remainder of the game. Just gotta wait for the sun. Just shouldn't do that much. There's still a reflect up. Yeah. 
It's a lot, but not an unlimited amount. Let me just make sure. This is last turn max. Do I I wanna see I thought I had one minimize up. I thought I had one. So we just need to go until he misses, right? Yeah, we just gotta stop foil until he misses, and then we'll be able to hit the prim. I wanna see if he even goes for like protect this turn. If he has Parish Song, he still can win. He still wins if he has Parish, so. I just don't think he has it. Oh man, that's, hard. that's gonna hurt. Oh my gosh, he's killing himself. Stop hitting yourself, Chief. Rock Hill would be funny. Yeah, he, either of those things could have Parish. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I'm like, where's your Parish, bro? Can you stop hitting me? I have a Minimize up. There we go. You should protect Prim this turn and try and crit me with the Marowak. Okay. Now I just gotta flicker moves faster than me of the game. Oh, he wants it. Bro. Bye. I guess I win. <laughs> Chansey versus the world. Yo, it's time. I think he had a better shot trying to PP stall me than go for that. I kind of like Dracovish and Grim. But I feel it's playing a little bit too aggressive. Dracovish Grim's pretty good. Um, Arcanine's still actually really nicer too. I would like Arcanine. Because Arcanine's super good versus like the Maractus, versus the Nine Tails, even versus the Sableye. I, I like Arcanine. Maybe not. What if we're, we're just gonna go Dracovish Grim? We're gonna make Arcanine in the back. And then I'm looking at my last Mon. I think it has to be Chansey still. I know there's a Sableye over there, but like we have more health than that thing does. And he can't do anything to us. Don't wanna bring Corviknight and Trevenant. There's a lot of sun today. Really surprising. Really surprised to see how much sun's on the ladder today. Our best friend is gonna be solar power. He's gonna take himself out. That's the idea. I'd like to block. I actually think I might switch his Arcanine out completely for like a Flash Fire Mon. Just cause like Sun's starting to be a problem. I could still use Flash Fire Arcanine too, I just don't really want to. Yeah, that's alright. So we can like para the Zard and hit the Ninetales with um max move so you just max geyser the nine tails and pair of the zard i think that's probably the play right yeah you can totally will this but i don't really care yeah this doesn't matter uh i don't know what i would use oh is that storm drain I'm pissed. It should've, I thought it was Chlorophyll. Oh well, we're gonna lose. We'll see. If we get the, if we roll the para. That's weird. If that's the Storm Gen user. It is Storm, it has to be Storm Gen. That's the only reason why I would switch that out. There's so many best of one gimmick teams on ladder. No one wants to play it. No one wants to play stand-up game. No one wants to play standard today. Every single person wants to try to like win the game on the first turn. Uh, Dragonfish is still really thick. Like I said, if we roll the para, we can still be in a good spot. But like, uh, assuming it's Storm Drain. There it is. Is that about using Swagger on the Grim? Uh, we did that yesterday. Yeah, there's a Storm Drain right there. that he's gonna take my grim this turn okay i actually didn't even want to hit the zard this is funny like i just wanted to set the rain all right do we just come in with chancy and start setting up then like probably what do we have we have arcanine right i guess we just come in and just snarl yeah that's probably a little bit better rack this time and rack is a pretty good good storm drain user 
Uh, let's see though. No real reason to hit the Zard. It'll go down eventually. Let's say Maractus is more of a problem. He has a fairy back there. I think it might be a better idea to go for like the Psychic Fang boost. Just because uh, Sableye could be an issue for later on in the matchup. He wants to switch Sableye in here, that's fine. Yeah. I don't think he's switching it in. Kinda has to leave it on the board for at least one turn. That's that's fine. Guy's team's pretty nutty. Alright, and then next turn we'll probably go for the warm one. When I'm, I'm gonna switch to Sableye. No, yeah, we'll see. I don't know if they'll switch to Sableye actually. Might have to cover it. I think Arcanine can actually just take out the Maractus. There we go, Pulpair, I'll take that. It's actually really good for me. The sad thing that sucks is my Dracovish is faster than my Arcanine. So it's like, I can't just go for a water attack still. I think he's gonna switch, but like, I can't go for a water attack, which sucks. Um, I think that the right play might just be to go for like a Mindstorm into this thing, just to make sure we get rid of it and an overheat as well. And I'll get a double switch out into my chance and we'll be in a good spot. If he switches it though, it's the wrong play. It's the wrong play. It's a misplay. Because I could have just went for a uh, water attack here. And until this is fine. You might lose it, Chief. Probably gonna lose it. Yep, that plus an overheat. Cool. And we get to bring a Chansey under Psychic Terrain. And you're out of max turns. Be good for me. Grim's down though. Yeah, we'll see how this is gonna go down. Dracovish is not super happy about all this. I might switch out my Dracovish for Arcanine this turn. Another pair, I'll take that. It's huge. We're getting some big pair rolls here. He's taking all that damage just from his like own life orb solar power. Like I said, the sun's our best friend. Chance he can tick, that's fine. Hopefully I'll be able to set up a little bit. Like he has Maractus. And I think one more hidden Pokemon in the back. Survey says. Rhyperior. Oof. Um, are you really going to switch out your... Let me think about this. Are you really going to switch out your Zard for that Pokemon? Because, like, the way I'm looking at it, like, if I just Psychic Fangs this Zard slot, and I, I think he's going to... I actually think he's going to go for an Earthquake. Um... I'll minimize. Yep. And the next turn I can just go for uh Fisher's Run. I want to see if he protects or earthquakes. Ooh, he didn't protect. He didn't have to protect, by the way. Wow, I should have actually smoked for a soft will. That's kinda nutty. I know soft will with a size of toss in there. I thought that would be able to KO. Strong job boosted. Ooh, he actually hit me with that. That's kinda crazy. Lefties. That's pretty good. We well, got one minimize off. I think you switch an Arcanine here and just try and go for a soft wield. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Because he's going to spiky shield. And either way, this kind of sets up our board to be Dracovish Arcanine next turn. And all we do, I do is waste the Maraxes, protect them, be in a good spot. Fine. Let's see if he can actually hit. I'm happy to see he doesn't have EQ. If we outspeed the Rhyperior, that's so value. I don't think we would, actually. That's nice. Power's power. Yeah, it's going to be a miss, Chief. The harsh sunlight's going to dip. I'm in a good spot here. 
Yes. Will O' Wisp coming back, yo. Coming back. That's so many pairs on the Zard, my guys. Oh, he DC'd! Yo, he's so mad! Chansey makes players rage quit. Yo, that guy went with the all-in play on turn one. And now he has nothing. And now he has nothing. That's what happens when you go all-in. And you fail. Yo, I'd rage quit too if I was terrible. You just gotta, you just gotta wait him out. You just gotta wait him out. Hatterene. Hatterene's still really good. Uh, Chansey is going to be really hard to use versus Corviknight, but it's definitely possible. Do I like Trevenant here? Trevenant's okay. Dracovish is actually still pretty nice here because there's no Intimidate. Like, I can just leave with Dracovish and be like, oh, yo, where are you looking? Uh, like, Dracovish Corviknight can actually deal with the hat. And then if they lead, like, Volk, we switch into Chansey. And then if I need one more Mon in the back... I don't necessarily like Trevenant as much here because of the Corviknight and the Volk, but it's very good versus Rotom. I'll bring the I'll bring it. I don't think Grimstone will be super value here. So we'll see how this goes. I should probably play this one a little bit more defensive than I think I need to. Like even if I have like a really good turn one opening. Which is highly possible I can't. I should probably actually just try and like wait out some sort of gimmick. Because there's going to be some sort of gimmick. Like Vault Clops. It's so weird. He's going to Rage Fire Trick Room. I'm fine if he just wants to Rage Fire Trick Room. Frisk. He sees our items. Yeah, I'm actually completely fine just going for a Fisher's Friend here. And I'll just switch my chance in. That's okay. Duskoff's is problematic, but like I can deal with it. Totally can deal with it. The thing about at the end of the day, if it's a Duskoff's yeah, versus right. Chansey, Chansey that's can right. always like time the Duskoff's. They can't really hit me either. And if it goes down to time, I have more health than they do. Heat Rift's fine. That's why we didn't want to uh, switch in for the Trev. Better not get a burn on my Drake if it should be so dumb. And it doesn't matter if he's El Sashed. Yep, it's completely fine. It's start to get burned, but we do have healer just in case. Cool, trick room's up. Cool, you played yourself. Now let's actually think about what I do want to do here. Um, because our Draco machine do a couple different things. Because I'm thinking if I actually want to try and like seismic toss the bulk, I think I will. Yeah, I'll go for this. Actually, let me think about this. Do you have any bulldoze players? No. I'm gonna double into that bulk and ignore the dust cops. If he wants to go protect and will o wisp my Dracovish, he can. Rage Potter? It's fine. Completely fine. I think they should have banned the, the dust cops as well. Yeah, it doesn't affect Chansey, Chief. I'm a Chansey. Now, I can totally get burned here, I think. I think Sazer Dust makes contact. So, like, Flame Body can activate here, which would be lame. Let's be real. I'd much rather my Dracovish get burned, actually, than my Chansey. Awesome. Doesn't get burned. Because uh, the Flame Body's still pretty good. That's actually a, a decent amount of damage. More damage than I actually thought I would deal with, so that's really nice. So Volk's down. Trick Room's up for him, but like I don't think that's necessarily like a great spot. Because we just switch in our Corviknight here. We're in a good spot. Um, I guess we, we might as well just go for Minimize. And then next turn, I'm probably going to max the Corviknight Ally Switch. Because we don't want to show our Ally Switch yet. And we, we're doing that to mess with the max Flare potential. See how this goes. They could also just go for El Smiterinos. G Max Smiterinos. As it looks, though, they have a bunch of special mons. Yeah, they don't have a way through Chansey. I mean, you could hit Self Confusion. Uh, you could Pain Split it. Pain Split is a full heal for the Dust Cops, and I get like totally game over. That's why I don't want to do any more damage with Dust Cops if possible. Um, it could be a Weakness Policy hat with a Shadow Sneak Dust Cops. It's definitely possible. Yeah, that's right. That's right. As as more people didn't use that and like the first like six series is let's see if they go for the read though that's right. That's right. thank you for the follow
follow those guys? Helping hand. Yeah, relatively similar thing. Are you G-Max smiting or G-Max flaring? Mine's fine. That's fine. Totes fine. Ow, that's a lot of damage, actually. It's actually a little more damage than I wanted to deal. Uh, we can probably just roost around this, though. I say probably because, like, believe it or not, leftovers is actually going to be really, really important in this matchup. Now we got him saying, where are we looking? Where are we looking? Big leftovers energy. He will do more damage, though. I know dark type switch in. Turns on Trick Emerge. Three, two, awesome. Yeah, we're doing for the ally switch this turn. And a roost. Shouldn't do that much to Chansey. I don't, if he's going to go for Smite, he's going to go for Smite, you know? Withdrawing the Dust Cops. Alright, cool. I don't know if he'll be able to kill our Corviknight then, even if he reads it correctly. Yo, the Corviknight Mirror! Yo, this is where we're going with this, huh? Is there a reason Pump Up movies are super popular? It can deal damage and heal. Imagine if your heal pulse could kill things. Or proc policies, it's pretty. Or maybe not proc policies. And the Max Flare on the Chansey slot. Told you we had the Max Flare. Didn't I? I told you we had it, right? How's it going? It's going flawless right now. One more turn of TR after this, and he only has one turn left on his max, too. So that's really nice. So we get to go up to full. I'm probably just going to max guard here. And I might even minimize one more time. That's really, really nice. Last turn, trick room. Yep. I'll soft will. Yeah, that's the right play for sure. And then just go for a max guard. And then after that, he's just not in max anymore. And his trick room's down. Big Corviknight energy, though. I know this team uses regular Corviknight, not GMAC, because it wants to give the illusion that it can go for airstreams, but... Normally, I do like GMAC better, though. Well, let's go, Corviknight. Show me that max flare into this guy. Show it to me. Oh, yeah. Block Arena. That just feels good. Feels good. Soft. I have one minimize up. So, like, uh, let's see if that Corviknight's gonna do anything spicy. He might just go for, like, a taunt or something. Wouldn't be surprised. Brave Bird. Oh, that ain't itchy. Oh, here, try to read now, I switch. What is the Monhound ability that's set up TR when it's up? Yeah, that'd be the best Mon in the game. That Mon would be in every single team. 100 percent though. All right, Trick Room's done, though, right? Trick Room's done. Perfect. So we're just gonna nuke that guy in the face. Please make sure I just... All right, I have one minimize up. Yeah, we're in a good spot here. And he has life orb, so we know he doesn't have a berry berry. So we're gonna give like a defense boost. You're gonna miss. Oh, let me take though. Yo, I wanna use a bandit Corbinet. That sounds super nice. And you know what? Chansey's still on top of it. Chansey coming in with the damage from downtown. He's got to, yes, I whipped. I'm so good. And I'm like, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Jerkum's done. This guy's career is done. That's correct. Chansey bust. So the dust cops in the back, but like Corviknight's in a really good spot right now. And you can't go for like the will wisp on the Corviknight because uh, we have the healer dust cloud or the healer chancy too. So it's like we will be able to grind you out. We're not using an Everstone today. Um, let's actually think about this. I guess you just minimize him. Just chill for a little bit. And I guess we still want to go for steel spikes. So we'll steel spikes this dust cop one more time. We can totally go for like pain splits and stuff. Yeah, we can trade we can trade bulk ups till the cows come home, chief. We can do that till the cows come home. What does gravity do? It makes all things be able to hit by ground type moves. So like even most Pokemon that are flying or levitate can be hit by ground moves. It's really nice. He can totally trick me. I don't think that's that big of a deal. Because I can't really stop this one, but I can set more minimizes. Minimize. And I guarantee I'm gonna do a lot to that Corviknight. How many people have we got to Rage Quit Squad today? A few. Good amount, actually. Oh, he's not actually going for the Trick Room. It's fine with me. Come on, don't Trick with me. Rudeness is done, Zoed. All right, let's actually think about this. Because, like, I'm out of max turns. I'm at plus two defense. It's a decent amount of defense. I'll go for the third Minimize, and I'll just start full cupping. Yeah, I think we're in a good spot. Yeah, we can go. We can both go plus six if you want, Chief. 
I got like a two turn defense head start on you though. And I only need like plus three to one shot your dust cops from here. Yo, H Hendez, subscriber too much. There's the sub, my friend. Yo, appreciate it. Third minimize is up. Our chancy is set in carry mode right now. Appreciate it. Paint split, there it is. Told you you had that big paint split. Sunlight's gonna dip. Okay. So we've seen bulk up on his Corviknight. I don't technically need to use uh, Roost this turn. I'm gonna just size and toss his Corviknight and keep bulk upping. We don't want to hit that Dust Cops until we can Oko it, I think. He's going to try and get to plus six, and then he's going to try and get to a situation where he can, like, one-shot our Chansey with a Body Press. But our Chansey has, like, two plus two defense. I don't even think a plus six Corviknight can one-shot it. I don't even think it can. And we're going to try and steal his Corviknight in a couple turns, too. Like, our Body Press is actually going to do a lot. You can totally Nightshade me if you want. It's okay. Left, he's taking it, counteract it. All right, um, yeah, I have a big timer lead too. I actually think we're just gonna go for the. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna do about 30 to 40 percent with our our body press, maybe maybe 25. But it's gonna put him in a situation where he has to start using roost every single turn. Also, I'm really happy to see him go for that instead of an attack here. He's also shown brave bird, which means he probably doesn't even have. I don't know if he has body press. He has Roost. He might not have Roost. That is about 15-20%. And now he's caught in a scenario where like his health is the one that's going down. Cool, if one of we can modify a little bear. Or in future games we use substitute. Oh maybe. I can see it. We actually get to look through one more. Um of those good moves. To Chansey get Alice, which it does. You wanna see it? I'm glad you asked. There's his roost. I, I think we still win this one, though. I think we still win. It's just going to take a while. We just have to use our moves fast. He's probably going to be going for one of those... Uh, one of those... Nightshades onto my Chansey slot. Never heard of it, yo. And the fact that I have leftovers on my Corviknight, I think, is really, really important for this matchup. Yeah, I'm just going to keep on going in. Now that my Corviknight's topped off again, I kind of just reset the whole thing. You can keep bulk up in my guy. Eventually, I know you're what you're going to want to do. Like, I get you. I understand. But, like, Chansey, the fact that you don't have leftovers means, like, we kind of can just, like, seismic toss you. If we're doing, like, 10 to 15%, as long as we're doing, like, 40% every single turn... I feel you're almost at a net loss. Like that's more that's that's fifty percent. And like you can deal fifty damage, but the fact that I have over the fact that my Corviknight has over um two hundred HP means I'm destroying a little bit more with leftovers over the course of like the game. Like right now it looks like you have three turns, uh three nightshades and I'm down. But like in reality, it's gonna be like four or five. And this this roost, it's gonna be super effective for my body press right now. So now my body press is actually doing more damage. So he's going up to about 97%. You see what I you see what I mean? It's a net it's a net loss for you, I feel. I feel just and also like I can get crit I can crit him, right? He can't crit me. One crit and the game's over. And he could totally go after my Corviknight here, but then I just get to bring out my like Dracovish or my Arcanine. I think I have an Arcanine in the back. Like, that's pretty nutty, right? I have an Arcanine? Of Dracovish and Trevenant. Those are still both really good mons. And all it takes is one ally switch when you decide to go for an attack. Uh, like, it's just, it's... We're walking a fine line here, but I still think we are going to be able to get this one out. He also could PP out of those Nightshades. Love that. He's playing against his chance team count as cruel and usual punishment. Yo, it's just called Taunt, man. Just taunt it. Just taunt it. See, he actually is losing health with that. One crit. And we break him in half.
just use Perish Song, I wish. Alright, he's actually probably gonna try and attack my Corbinate this turn. I know, he's gonna roost. And so I wanna keep him roosting. I'll just go for roost on my own. Yeah, we, can, we we also have a timer advantage too. So like we are still gonna win, it's just gonna take a while. And we have a lot more seismic tosses than he has roost. And if, if he has to use roost every turn and I have to use roost every like four turns, I still think I'm in a good spot. I want like two more bulk ups. So I'll, I'll just use the two bulk ups slowly and like uh, do this the right way. Two more bulk ups would be super value. Nightshade. Yeah, we're still fine. The fact that I have a solar roost is so nice here. Yep, got two more bulk ups to be good to go. He's thinking about it. It's like, man. Yeah, I don't even know how he thinks he's going to beat the Chansey. That's, like, the thing. Oh, he's going for the Brave Bird! Oh, he crit me! I think he crit me. Yeah. Wow! He actually crit me. Yo, this guy wanted it! He tried to end me right now. That's crazy. That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. That it is. That was, he crit me! We would have been super fine, by the way. Uh, I go for like 10,000 hits against him, no crits. He gets one crit against me. Nice, nice job. Fish just ends his life. You got ally switch me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And like one shot my Dracovish. And no ally switch. We've seen Bulldoze, Pain Split, Nightshade, Trick Room. Oh, we haven't seen Bulldoze. It's fine, though. Dirty, dirty crits. That's fine. We win. Nice trick room, Chief. Good, good job. Maybe next time. I want to see something. I think it's actually a better play to switch the Trevenant in here. And go for an ally switch. Because like, we don't want to take any damage. And we don't actually want to deal a ton of damage. I want to show you guys something cool. Because he can't hit the Chansey, right? Do you guys understand that? So it's like... Don't want to use these minimizes. It doesn't really matter what moves we use here. Um, I'm just going to Leech Seed right now. We want to wait to trick him out. But we, we can also Leech Seed our Chansey. Okay, I was going to be like, bro, we can go into the super late game where we Leech Seed our Chansey to make it so we full heal what would have been a Nightshade every single turn. Right? Do you get it? That's the sauce. And then like every five turns, Chansey has to use one soft blow and then we PP out the dust claps.